Hello and welcome to News 9. I am Nishrita and well first up it rained heavily across the city in the early hours today. The rain was accompanied by thunder showers. Several areas in Kormangla, Adagodi, Shantinagar, Maleshwaram, Jayanagar, Basavanagudi, Banaswadi and Nandini lay out both the brunt of the heavy rains. The rain began at around 2 in the morning but uh, we have seen of course many trees falling prey to such heavy showers and time and again and this time around a 50 to 60 year old tree on Raj Bhavan Road came crashing down but thankfully since uh, the tree crash took place somewhere late in the night at around 2 to 30 a.m. no one was um, put to danger however the beautiful tree has come crashing down there and the officials are working overtime to clear it out considering this is the busy Raj Bhavan Road it uh, witnesses probably the highest traffic flow in the city. Mm. In fact, uh, this is uh, one of uh, the many repercussions of the heavy thunder showers that Bengaluru witnessed uh, yes, last night. It was in the wee hours of today. It was post 1.30 a.m. Went on all the way till 3, 3.30 a.m. And the gusty winds, the heavy showers, the thunder, the lightning, everything seems to have had an impact on the city. While many low-lying areas have been inundated, as usual, we have seen many trees fall prey to the heavy rains as well. And one such tree, of course, was in Raj Bhavan Road where it came crashing down. Every year, the BBMP promises that uh, before the monsoons, they will go around the city identifying the old and weak trees and bring it down to avoid any sort of a threat to any individual in the city. But unfortunately, we have seen such promises remain only in paper or for that matter in words. Officials uh, have gotten professionals to clear out the tree from uh, the road. This is one of the heavily used roads and is one of the VIP roads and hence uh, the officials being double quick in clearing it out. In fact, uh, the thunder showers began uh, around 2 a.m. And the intensity of the showers was witnessed uh, from the word go. Well, in fact, my colleague Nolan was uh, there at the spot just a while back and uh, this is what the situation was there like. Now, last night, these heavy thunderstorms shocked Bengalurians. Now, it was lightning and thunder and rain. Well, it looks like the monsoons have actually hit, hopefully, have hit Karnataka and Bengaluru. But the after effects of the terrible thunderstorm is this. In fact, this huge tree, we are told that it could be almost 100 years old, that came crashing down. Now, this huge tree came crashing down just next to the Raj Bhavan. In fact, on my right, is the Raj Bhavan, the governor's home. Now, because of this, traffic has been diverted. Now, what do you see over the earth? These vehicles have been diverted. So none of the vehicles can actually come on this road. The traffic police have given a diversion on that particular one-way road. Now, the traffic police inform us that this diversion is only in place for the next, say, about 30-odd minutes. And the reason being, the fire force personnel have come over here and they are assisting the traffic uh, uh, cops and the laborers over here in using electric saws to actually chop down these uh, branches and get, clear this road as soon as possible ASAP. Their idea is this is a very traffic dense road. So the traffic police tell us that next half an hour with the help of the fire force personnel, with the help of all these people and the use of modern equipment, this road will be let free. Now, what is the biggest problem here facing Bangalore? Why are trees crashing down every time it rains? Well, I'll give you the example. The simple, simple problem is that there is no space for the trees to breathe. There is no space for water to seep down to the roots. In fact, that is the, those are the trees, or this is the particular tree that actually came crashing down. Now, what the city planners have done is that 
when they concretize the entire road, when they concretize the footpath, they have not left space around the tree for water to seep down. So what they have done is basically, this is the route. Completely around it, there is no space. You have the footpath, and there is absolutely no space for water to seep down. Now, considering the fact that Bangalore's groundwater problem is huge and, and plenty, the city planners have have to, on a priority basis, make sure that water is allowed to actually seep down so the roots are strong. If the roots are not strong, one can't blame the trees when they keep falling every now and then when it rains. Now, this is the issue. But coming back to where we are, we are told that the traffic police, along with the uh, fire force personnel, will make sure that this particular stretch of road is cleared ASAP, and we are told in the next half an hour. With camera person Sushil, Nolan Pinto, News 9. Well, in fact, uh, that particular report was recorded at around 8.45 a.m. and it was expected that in the next 20 minutes the road will be cleared out. We are joined by my colleague Nolan live from the spot. Well, uh, Nolan, it is past uh, 9 now. What is the situation like? Has the road been cleared out? Well, Nolan, if you can uh, hear us, can you take us through uh, the, the situation now on uh, Raj Bhavan Road? Well, uh, we will get my colleague uh, Nolan back on uh, the line, but uh, it was expected that uh, by 9, 5, 9, 10, the road uh, will be cleared out of the tree and uh, traffic will be allowed. Let's not forget that it is peak hour traffic now. Well, we have my colleague uh, Nolan back on the line. Well, Nolan, coming to you, it is uh, uh, past 9 a.m. and we know the kind of traffic that Raj Bhavan witnesses. What is the situation like? Well, in fact, uh, Nishita, the condition over here, as of now, is back to normal, heavy traffic, it's peak hours. Let me just show you what exactly is the condition now. Well, this is it. Now, this is the road that leads from Raj Bhavan right up to Chalukya Circle in the morning. Like I just showed you, say, about uh, 20 minutes or those, uh, those branches that have been kept on either side of the roads were, in fact, right bang on the middle of the road. The traffic police had diverted traffic. In fact, what they did was they stopped all the traffic from heading over there. And where I'm standing now, that's where they had diverted. So all the vehicles coming from Raj Bhavan would come on this particular road where I'm standing and head on to that particular one-way road that you see over there. Now, thankfully, with the fire force personnel, with the staff from the BBMP utilizing their modern equipment like electric saws, they did manage to clear the branches, cut them out. And what we have seen now over here is a truck that has come to actually take them as fast as possible. Now, we do not know whether they did this work fast, considering the fact that we have the Raj Bhavan, which is on the left there, and the governor might then uh, make a big noise out of this because it's just right in front of his house. But uh, the fire force personnel, the traffic police, the law and order police, along with the BBMP staff, are quick over here on the spot, and they have cleared it. So once more, if you're heading towards uh, Raj Bhavan and you want to head towards Chalukya Circle, well, it's free flow of traffic, and you, you can take a look for yourselves. That's right, uh, Nolan. And also, if you can uh, just tell us, uh, it, it is quite a cause of concern at the moment. The BBMP has time and again told that ahead of the monsoons, they will identify uh, the roads, uh, the trees, uh, which are weak and which cannot sustain the monsoons and will bring it down ahead of the monsoons. But nothing happens on ground. All these promises remain on paper. Absolutely nothing comes to light. And this is what we see at the end of the day. Well, in fact, uh, Nishita, yes, you, that's true. The BBMP had clearly stated that they would identify old trees. They would also identify those branches that need to be pruned. Now, they have kept on saying that they will look into this. They have, they have been doing it. Now, you can't blame them because the trees are just falling. But now the BBMP is not looking into the main issue, Nishita, like what I clearly said earlier. The main issue is that the trees are dying. We are slowly killing the trees because we are not allowing water to actually seep down. The roots are drying. Two points over here, Nishita. One is the groundwater has has dipped to such an alarming level that experts are actually talking about it as of now that the need of the hour is to make sure that we do rainwater harvesting and also set up water groundwater recharge pits, not only to help us but also to help save our environment over here, the trees. And two, now let me just show you. That's the footpath that you see right over there. Now they have planted trees well and good. 
it's a fantastic job. But the big mistake that they have done over there is, while they planted trees, they have not left enough space for the trees to breathe. There is no space for water to seep down. So you basically have the tree right over there and you have concrete around it. So where does the tree get water from? No ground water, no chance of water to actually go down. That is the biggest issue over here. The trees are perfect. We have, Bangalore has always had uh, rains. Uh, initially, it was the garden city. You had so many trees. Trees would never fall down how it falls now. Every time it rains, a small rain, a, a little bit of breeze is enough to actually drop a tree. The issue is let them breathe. Control that. We need ground, proper groundwater recharge systems and we need uh, water to seep in into the roots. If that is done, the BBMP does not have to actually go about with their works of actually cutting down old trees because the trees will stand. Right, absolutely. And considering the fact that uh, uh, the rains have been nothing new uh, to Bengaluru, but it is only now that we are seeing trees come crash down, it is all the more uh, a danger because these trees, if they do come crashing down during the peak uh, traffic hour or during any time in the day, it can even endanger lives. Very true, uh, Nishita, what you're saying. Now, thankfully, this uh, tree actually uh, uh, fell between 5 and 6. This is what the fire uh, fire officer who we spoke to some time ago, he said, it stated, and once they got information, now we do not know if it fell at 5 and 6 because they got information at around that time. That time, The police control room informed them. They immediately came over here. But it's very true. If it had fallen at some point of time, like now where there's heavy traffic, it could have led to casualties. In fact, falling on people, walking over here on the street, falling on the cars or the or the or the bikes because this is a very busy road vehicles coming from Raj Bhavan vehicles coming from Vidhan Sauda heading to Chalukya circle take this particular stretch in fact right from morning it's three cars anytime now in fact it's already started a bigger pardon right up to night this road is always busy so if this tree god uh, god willing it has actually not fallen during peak hour Right, uh, Nolan, thank you for joining us uh, with all those uh, details. Well, my colleague Nolan there uh, joining us live from Raj Bhavan. But this is not the only location where we have uh, seen a tree fall. In fact, uh, there has been yet another tree fall recorded near the Upaloka Yukta office, is uh, what we understand. So this is uh, the massive, almost a 100 year old tree that came crashing down. Meanwhile, Near the Upalokayukta's office, also the situation seemed similar. Two tree falls uh, reported from across the city so far. One near Raj Bhavan, one near uh, MS building. Two massive trees as we can see on our television screens. While the one near Raj Bhavan is at least a hundred years old, the one near MS building, the Upaloka Yukta office, seems to be equally old as well. It is a huge tree. The fire department officials have come in uh, to clear out. Uh, the mess from the road but uh, it highlights a bigger issue of uh, trees in our city being unsafe thanks to the depletion of groundwater and to lack of pruning done by uh, the BBMP officials. Well, in fact two tree falls are being recorded there so far but uh, Certainly these are not the only instances that we have uh, seen this time or uh, in the past. In the past as well we have uh, seen Bengaluru's uh, trees not able to sustain the rainfall in the city thanks to their weakened condition. Truly a pity for a city that boasts of being called the garden city. <laughs> 